All right, um, we're gonna watch the game where I got knocked out of winner's bracket in uh, <sighs> uh, in the main tournament outside of pools. Um, this is Vro. He is a top-ranked Chicago player. He plays Wario in um, PM, and Wario is considered a spacey slayer of sorts, I think. And before we go into this, I think my main problem was that I was playing just too aggressively, and I didn't pick like a good opening stage, probably. That being said, Vro is just a phenomenal, phenomenal player, and I probably shouldn't be winning against him yet. These footsies are pretty even right now. I'm just taking a few more like like raw hits at the moment, but I've managed to almost catch it up here. And then the bite platform tech chasing is so strong. It just seems like it covers everything. Because of like how active its hitbox is. Oh, I almost get that shortened. That would have been so hype. <sighs> I guess if I had just... So, on that edge guard, I think I had it. Wow, way too far. Go all the way to the beginning of the game. Um... I'd pr yeah, you camped up B after side B with Wario. So I think if I had just rolled, he would have fallen to his death. But instead, I like reset again or something. Like, Wario feels so fast that he'll throw out, like, a slow, laggy smash attack, like, down smash, and miss, and I'll just be like, oh, no, what's he going to hit me with? And then, like, miss a punish. I think I'm just going to have to, like, play Wario more, like, and to figure out what he does and, like, what his weaknesses are. So here, yeah, it's, it's this. I'm pretty sure he's in special fall, like, and if I had just held the ledge instead... It's unfortunate. And then fucking waft uh, tech chase. I think I tech in place a lot on platforms against Mario. So, how far can he drift off of this up B? I'm gonna grab this ledge. Oh, I'm not. That's just really fast. Should have wave dashed off, I guess. And then, oh, the tech in place. Oh, he and of course he's going to throw me off stage, so I DI terribly. And he's just going to hit me, right? Yeah, dash attack. And I DI out so I can, like, live. And then he throws a nair in the way. And he can live through that. Oh my god. That sucks. So... Where did I actually die that stock? Was it off of the bite? The bad bite, DI on the bite? Because... So let's let's say I DI it properly. 59, let's go back to... Yeah, okay. So let's say... God damn it, this fucking player. So let's say I DI that bite 
he's, and I just go, oh, okay, he, he gets the command grab on me, he's gonna throw me off stage, he has to, like, it's fucking Wario versus a space heat. So I DI it properly, and then immediately double jump side B, because he's always punishing down here. Part of the problem is that Wolf has lots of unlag on his recovery moves, and I, wa I want to grab ledge. Like, I, I w if I ever have the opportunity, I want to grab ledge as soon as possible. So I DI properly, and if he doesn't react with this dash attack, do I... Do I just side beat a ledge? Like, and forsake my double jump? Because what could he do? He couldn't, he couldn't grab the ledge. He could, like, try and drop some... Snare? Or fair, maybe? Because I don't, I don't want to say that I lost the stock as soon as I got command grabbed at the ledge, because that would just be depressing. <laughs> um, so if I di'd the throw, I'd be like at around here instead of like right here to get hit with this dash attack. So maybe if I had like DI'd out and then immediately jump side bead and gone for the platform cancel. I think I can live with that. And then if he I don't know, that's like a really hard reaction, but I'm not sure I'd put it past for a... Or I could go for side B with like the angle to go on stage, but then shorten it so I grab ledge. That's an option too. Just recovering against this character is so hard. It's just fucking super hard hitting Jigglypuff. So the real answer obviously is don't get grabbed, but at the at the ledge. But um I don't know, I'm trying to dissect this like play by play and see what I could be doing differently. Whoops. Hmm. Wonder if down air or Wario is a matchup where down air would be quite good. Probably not. His up is pretty vertical, and it's not like. Well, I guess weight does factor into hit stun, so maybe it's like hard for him to. Hmm. I'll mess around with it. Something to note for later. Yeah, and it's just every time I go out to edge guard him, he's just out of hit stun so fast that he just bops me for going off stage. And it's not like I have a sword and I can just be like crouching at the ledge, getting ready to just hit him with some disjoint from the standing. <sighs> what do I do differently in that situation? Well, it's probably just don't throw him off stage. Wow, that went super far. Where's my last stock? There we go. Okay, so I get this shine and he crouch cancels it, so I But like I'm wary of getting grabbed after the second shine, but I guess I'm adapting with the grab out. Okay. So here I go for a down throw. I guess that's just kind of stupid. He's at really low percent. I should back throw him and tech chase. That's that's what it is. Because at this percent, he's not going to go far enough from the ledge where I can, like, reasonably hit him without him, like, going on a hit stun and, like, hitting me or getting on the ledge before I can do anything. So what I should do is back throw. Like, I can't imagine Mario has, like, a phenomenal, like, tech roll or anything. It should be pretty easy. Yeah, I'm just playing fundamentally poor this game. That's what it is. 
And his DI was really good on the down throw. He was, went all the way out here at only like 20 something percent. That was definitely my fault, and I need to own it if I want to get better. And I deserve to lose this stock. <sighs> so the next game I do better, at least. So he just he gets rid of FD and Dreamland. I imagine because he thinks the nest is coming out now. Which normally it would, but I don't really want to play Nest very much anymore. Even in these like good matchups. There was a Bowser main there that I was like, yeah, I might not even go Nest against you, even though it's a free win, because I just want more wolf experience, more practice with spacey tech and building up my endurance. So here I get I definitely start playing more conservative. And I really ought to be working in shield grabs. Like even if they don't work out, it can incentivize someone to not like be blocking so much. It's not like Wario has good out of shield options anyway. He just has I don't know, grab, I guess, and like maybe Nair. Again, I go off stage like to try and get him. I'm lucky I didn't lose a stock there. God, I just do not want to be on a platform. Maybe Smashville would be better against Wario. Yeah, I should not be throwing out those F smashes. God, I gotta remember to wave dash out of shield if I want to punish that. Finally, like, land a back air on him. And then I get stage spiked by a single hit of his upbeat. That shit was... I hate that. I hated that. I was so mad. <sighs> Let me go back a little bit and see what I could have done differently. So he up throws me... And go to a platform, and he claps, which I guess I DI'd to the right, and he hits me with the back air. Puts me off stage. This is not even the same stock. So, I really need to react to the fact that he's just using his shield. After everything he does, he's shielding, just like my brother does. He's like, okay, we're going to trade blows, and... You're going to block mine, I'm going to block yours. And I'm going to have better spacing and fundamentals, and eventually I'm going to win this shield battle. And I'm playing a goddamn spacey, and I'm trying to play, like, Ganondorf instead. I should just be going, like, no, I don't care about your shield. You're going to get shield pressured into a grab. And I didn't do it. And I, what, it was, like, I was just playing too fast and not thinking. And I didn't adapt at all to what he was doing. That was... Just watching this is getting me like so frustrated. Because it's not like I'm getting outplayed. I'm just not thinking well enough. Oh yeah, I'll forward. So he fucking side bees me. And then he just starts shielding because he knows I get to do something now. Because he's like, oh, well, my move had in life, so I have to shield. And I should be thinking a step ahead and going, okay, well, he's going to have to sit in his shield because he threw out a dumb move on me. And then I don't punish the shield. Poor dash dance. Bad shield pressure again. Actually tech chase for once. Okay, 
Oh. Keeping that laser pressure on. <sighs> Shine out of shield isn't particularly good at, against Wario because he gets so much drift that uh, he can just like hit your shield with an aerial and then just leave before you can do anything. And again, I went for an offstage dumb thing. I should have just thrown him toward the stage. Yeah, that aerial drift makes it so hard to like punish him offstage because he can just throw out an aerial and then just drift back, even though he's like super low toward the stage or toward the ledge. I throw him off stage again! Oh my god. Oh, I'm the worst. <laughs> oh, I did not deserve to win that game. Oh. Alright, well this has been a learning experience, I guess. Like, I mean, I think I realized a lot about what I was doing wrong. And just letting the... To honestly, I think I lost the game a little bit before it had even started because I have a stick up my ass about Wario and how he plays and how he counters like fast fallers and he a big part of uh, Wolf's game is edge guarding and you you can't just gimp Wario like it's like trying to gimp Jigglypuff at the beginning at like low percent it's just not a thing that works especially if you don't have like a shine spike or an actual spike um, Like, he gets to kill me at low percents because he's slow and dumb and hits really hard and is slow and slow and dumb. So I've got to play smart and fast and actually rack up the percent, like, early by throwing him toward the stage, tech chasing the shit out of him because he's a slow piece of crap, and not and just playing smart and not, like, being super aggressive. More laser coverage, more pressure, forcing him to approach poorly tech chasing properly and punishing his shield not just shining it and jumping away or double shining and getting that red there's so many more options that I'm not utilizing I felt like I was like had gotten better at the beginning of the tournament and then by the time I had to play good players like th that's how it goes you you see the holes in your play they like discern your patterns and uh, pick you apart. Yeah, I think this has been a useful exercise. I'll probably keep doing it. Um, for those of you who watched, I hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned something about Smash and the interplay. Um, see you next time.